What's going on you guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I am back with another testing out TikTok of food hacks. Now I can't be the only one that sees these food hacks all over the For You page and I'm always thinking to myself like, hmm, are these food hacks good or not good? But don't worry because in this video we're going to put these food hacks to the test and I'm going to let you know if they're worth it or not worth it. Now before we get started with this video, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. If today's video gets 35,000 likes, I'll film another one of these food hack videos. Videos. And if you like me and my content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell so I can notify you whenever I post a brand new video. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and let's get started with food hack number one. Okay, so for our first food hack, we have something from Chick-fil-A. You guys know that I love Chick-fil-A. Every single time I do a food hacks video, I just have to include something from Chick-fil-A. Like, I have to. By the way, Chick-fil-A, if you're watching, don't be shy. Send me some merch or sponsor me. So you guys know that I have like this love-hate relationship with their mac and cheese. Sometimes I love it, sometimes I don't love it. So when I saw this food hack, I was like, ooh, interesting. I have to go ahead and try it out. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, so I saw someone else do this and I have had to try it so you go to chick-fil-a and you order their mac and cheese and then you get some nuggets or strips i got nuggets and i just kind of tore them in half and then you get the zesty buffalo sauce one packet was enough for me and then give it a nice shake and then when you're done it will look like this and it is so amazing try it out doesn't that look so good you know what this food hack reminds me it reminds me of the previous one we did from chick-fil-a with the waffle fries and the nuggets but this one has some mac and cheese oh my god my mouth's already watering so let's go over to chick-fil-a and let's get everything we need a few minutes later all right so i have my mac and cheese i have my nuggets ready to go but before we give this a try i do want to give a huge shout out to fetch rewards for sponsoring today's video you guys know that i I've worked with Fetch Rewards in the past. I personally love the app, guys, and I use it all the time. And if you're not familiar with Fetch Rewards, it is an app where you scan your receipts and you earn points. It's literally that easy. And then later on, those points, you can redeem them into gift cards from Amazon, Target, Starbucks, and more. I really like that you don't have to worry what's on your receipt or where your receipt is from. You just scan it, earn points. Again, it's super easy. Also, you might be thinking, what if I like doing online shopping? What if I don't have like a physical receipt? Don't worry because now you can also scan and e receipts and and it gets even better because you can also scan your receipts from restaurants now whether it's drive through dine in or delivery so i'm going to show you guys how easy it is i'm going to go ahead and scan my receipt from chick-fil-a i already have the app open for example right now i'm going to get an extra 700 points for completing any receipt and you can always go to the app guys and see what items you can buy to get the most points for example if you buy these huggy diapers you get 12,000 points that's 12,000 points. That's a lot of points, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and click the little camera icon. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and take a picture of my receipt. There we go. We're going to submit it. Bam! Oh, dang. It gave me, okay, 705 points. Not bad for just scanning my receipt, guys. It's not bad whatsoever. So I'm telling you guys, you guys have to go ahead and download Fetch Wars and give it a try. It's totally free. Trust me, you're not going to regret it. I used to throw my receipts away in the trash, but not anymore because I just scan them and I earn points and then I get gift cards like... Who doesn't love free stuff, right? So if you guys are interested in downloading Fetch Rewards, I'll leave the link down below in the description box so you guys can go ahead and download it. And you guys can also use my code PETA to get an extra 2,000 points when you scan your first receipt. And thank you Fetch Rewards for sponsoring today's video. And let's go ahead and let's try the Chick-fil-A food hack. All right, guys, let's try this out. So I have my empty salad tray and I'm going to now take my mac and cheese. I got a medium mac and cheese, by the way. So we're gonna take our mac and cheese. We're going to put it inside just like that then i'm going to take my fork my nuggets and my buffalo sauce i have my mac and cheese nice and spread it evenly we're going to take our nuggets now she did cut them in half but i'm just going to throw them in like that guys and then we're going to take some zesty buffalo sauce and we are going to drizzle it all on top like this we're going to take the lid and we are going to shake it up that's what it looks like Okay, it doesn't look that good now that I look at it, but we're gonna go ahead and try it out. Get some mac and cheese with a nugget. Here we go. Look at that. Ooh, yum. I would give this a seven and a half out of 10. So I think from now on, I'm actually gonna put buffalo sauce in my mac and cheese because like I'm saying, that's really good. But I would give this a seven and a half out of 10. So I'm gonna sit here, enjoy a little bit more of the mac and cheese with the nuggets. And then we're gonna go over to Starbucks because 
oh my god you know that i'm obsessed with starbucks and chick-fil-a like you guys already know so i found this new drink that as soon as i saw it i was like oh we need to try it out so let me finish this and then we're gonna head out to starbucks all right guys i am in line at starbucks and we are about to order this drink it looks so good like with just the caramel you know the white foam on top let me just show you what I'm talking about. Let me put you guys on. Get a venti iced white mocha with vanilla sweet cream foam, extra caramel drizzle, 10 out of 10. Thank you. Thanks. So I have my venti iced white mocha with vanilla sweet cold foam with extra caramel drizzle and this is what it looks like. It looks so good. Okay, we're going to try it out. Here we go. Guys, this is so good. I knew it. The cold foam is so refreshing, and then you get the coffee, but then also it's sweet because of the caramel drizzle. This is a 10 out of 10 for me, guys. This is so freaking good. If you like coffee, you're gonna like this. I just found my new favorite drink from Starbucks. No cap, guys, this is so good. If you do try it out, tag me on Instagram so I can repost you guys on my stories and let me know what you think about it. But dang, this is so good. So for this next food hack, we are going to be making a pizza. Not just any pizza, this is a Raising Cane's pizza. So let me show you guys how we're going to be making it. So my friend at work told me instead of a Chick-fil-A pizza, we should make a Cane's pizza. So here's the dough. We're putting cane sauce all over it and then we're spreading that out and putting the chicken and french fries on top. A little bit of cheese. We're popping that in the oven and drizzling it with some cane sauce when it comes out. Doesn't that look so good? Oh my god, I'm so excited to make this. So all we're gonna need is some pizza blend cheese. We're also going to need some pizza crust and of course we're going to need the Kenya combo from Raising Cane's. Look at that. And I also got some extra sauce. So we're gonna take our pizza crust out. I don't know if you guys remember we did the exact same thing with Chick-fil-A and it was actually really good. So I'm kind of curious to see which one's going to be better, the Chick-fil-A or this one. So we're going to take our sauce and we're going to spread it evenly. Let me know if you guys love the Raising Cane sauce. I love the sauce, guys. It's so good. We're going to take our french fries. We're going to spread them evenly like this. Next, we're going to be taking our chicken and we are going to put it right on top where the french fries are. So this just depends. If you love chicken, then put as much chicken as you want. If you don't really like the chicken, then put less chicken. So I'm gonna put a lot of chicken here. By the way, I already have my oven preheating to 400 degrees, and then we're gonna pop it in the oven, and then we're gonna go ahead and try it out. Last but not least, we're going to be taking our cheese, and we are going to spread it evenly on top of the pizza. That looks so good. Imagine when it's like nice and melted and hot and the chicken's gonna be so crispy. And then with the sauce and the cheese on top, oh my God. I honestly think this one is gonna be way better than the Chick-fil-A one, but I might be wrong. Okay, now that we have the cheese on top, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pop it in the oven. We're gonna leave it in there for, I would say, a good 10 to 12 minutes, guys. All right, I'll see you guys in 12 minutes. 20 minutes later. The pizza is ready. We're gonna take it out. Bam, Ooh. look at that. That looks so good. Okay, now in the video they did say to take some extra cane sauce and to drizzle it on top of the pizza like this. Mmm, oh my God, it smells so good. Okay, let's go ahead and let's cut it so we can get a piece. Okay, this is what the pizza looks like. Look at that, okay? Let's give it a try. What's your first impression? What, bomb? Mm-hmm. Better than the Chick-fil-A? Yes. What if you dip it? This is 11 out of 10, guys. This is so good. Oh my God, it's like nice and crispy. The chicken is so juicy. The melted cheese on top just makes it even better. And then the fries are like nice and crispy. It's so warm. Oh my God, this is so good. If you have a Raisin Cane's near you, give us a try. You're not gonna regret it. It is so good. 11 out of 10, highly, highly recommend. So good. For our next food hack, apparently if you take this and you put it in an orange, you get freshly squeezed orange juice. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, this is not gonna work. Same, I don't think this is gonna work. Like, it seems impossible, but we're gonna give it a try. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so I have my grapefruit and I have this, so I'm just going to go ahead and shove it into 
the orange. <laughs> Did you say orange? What is it? Grapefruit. Grapefruit. Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's open it. That is not gonna work. Told what happened? You, I told you that wasn't gonna work. <laughs> oh, what if I squeeze it? Maybe. I hear it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, guys. This food hack is fake. Look at this. Okay, so. I saw one. They also did it with a watermelon. Yeah, this one was with the orange, but I saw a second one and they did it with a watermelon. So should we give it a try? I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the watermelon. I think I should do it right here, right? That's a good spot. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I think you need a No, it's not gonna go in, guys. Okay, let me get it. I don't even think it's gonna work. No, should we give it a try or no? It's gonna be fake. Mm, I think you should just pass and you should do the Pringles one. Ooh, the Pringles one, that's a good one, guys. For the Pringles hack, guys, all you need is a watermelon and a Pringles can. Now, I can't find the clip on TikTok, but basically what they did is they cut one side of the watermelon, they put the can inside, and then you're supposed to come out with a perfect piece of watermelon. So, we're gonna see if this is easier or to just cut a watermelon the regular way. So, we're gonna put it to the test. So, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to cut this side of the watermelon. We're gonna put it inside, and we're just going to shove it in there. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're going to pull it out. Hopefully, we get the perfect piece of watermelon. It's supposed to come out like a perfect slice. Wait, is it working? Is it working? Is it, working? <gasps> is it there? Wow, all that hard work for nothing? So Are you serious? Cut around the side, that just... I think oh, you should just cut the yeah, other side. Yeah, that's what I was gonna tell you. So then that way we can like push it out yeah. on the other side. That's what I'm thinking. So Let's cut do that. that side. There you go. And just nah. push it all the way through. Oh, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> okay, guys. So we got it to work. Okay, now we're gonna take it out and see if we got the perfect piece of watermelon. So here we go. Ooh, that is a perfect that slice. Is a I can't perfect, even lie. Yeah. That actually looks pretty nice. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and take our knife and we're gonna cut it into pieces. Oh yeah. So this hack definitely works, guys, except it's a lot of work. You guys saw I went through so much to literally get this perfect piece of watermelon. So does the hack work? Yes, do I recommend it? Probably not because again, it's too much work. So me personally, I would just cut a watermelon the regular way because like I said, this is too much work. But technically, it does work. So for our last food hack, I don't know if you guys remember, I did a chocolate cake in a mug and it was so delicious. Well now I found a hack how we can do a donut in a mug. Let me show you. looks so good I am really hoping this is going to work guys okay so all you're going to need is milk you're also gonna need some flour sugar some strawberry jam baking powder egg cinnamon and butter so you're gonna need two tablespoons of butter I already have mine melted in my mug next step is we're gonna take four tablespoons of flour here goes the first one there's the fourth one now we're going to do two tablespoons of sugar first one and the last one. And you're going to do one tablespoon of milk. Now you're gonna take your baking powder and for the baking powder you're gonna do half a teaspoon. You're gonna do one fourth a teaspoon of cinnamon. That should be good enough. Last but not least, <laughs> now it's gonna be the egg. And you're only gonna want the yolk of the egg. Dump it in there. Now we're gonna go ahead and just mix it like this. Mmm, that smells so good. That smells the cinnamon and everything. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your favorite jelly, mine is strawberry, and we're going to pop some of that right in the middle. Now the last step is we're gonna put it in the microwave for a minute and a half. It's ready. By the way, we burnt our microwave. <laughs> Oh, I didn't tell you guys. It's finally ruined, like officially ruined. Like we I actually tried. actually ruined our microwave. Guys, I used so many cleaning supplies and we officially messed up our microwave. So we honestly now do need a new microwave, like all jokes aside. <laughs> all right, so this is a donut in a mug. This is what it looks like. Look at this, guys. 
We're gonna give it a try. Is your mouth watering? Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear that? You were like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me so go ahead good. and try it. <gasps> no. Mm -mm. Okay. The flavor is really good, but for some reason is really dry. Like, I don't know how to feel about it, guys. I am gonna have to give this a five out of 10. Do you wanna try it so you can see what I'm telling you? I'm gonna try it, see if it's good. It's like powdery. Oh yeah. Mm. Right, like mm -mm. too dry? Too dry. Yeah, so I'll give this a five out of 10. I'm gonna I'll, have to pass on this one. I probably wouldn't even try it. The Oreo one is way better. Oh, that one, yes. The Oreo one is like 10 times better. If you wanna try anything in a mug, try the Oreo one. That one, highly recommend. All right guys, that is the end of today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you wanna see more videos like this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot and it also lets me know that you guys want to see more videos like this. If you like me, my content don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so i can notify you whenever i post a brand new video i love you guys so much thank you for all the love and all the support and i'll see you guys on the next one bye guys yeah 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 Ay, coming in yeah flex i just wanna win yeah. la bb who we running with yeah